So my goddamn car gets stolen on a Saturday. I was at this party on Saturday. After the party, I went to a friend's house. I parked it. Uh, I wake up in the morning, it's gone. I call the police, I file a report. My car is missing for two weeks, two weeks. One morning, my cousin calls me. He said, yo, oh shit, you got the car. What are you doing on Lenox Street? I said, come on, man, stop fucking playing. Like, really, I really got to get to work. He's like, yo, listen, you're not on Lenox Street right now? I said, no, I'm not on Lenox Street. Why the fuck are you calling me? He's like, yo, your car is right here. I'm looking at your car. I said, yo, if you fucking around, like, seriously, we were really going to fight. I know your car. You got that fucking Connecticut collar stick on the back. When he said Connecticut collar stick, I said, yo, I'm coming to my car. I jumped up. Race. I called a thousand people to get a ride. I get to where my car is. I'm seeing my car. I'm like, oh shit, my car. Like, I'm feeling like my life has been restarted. My car. Oh shit. So I called the police. I called the police. I said, yo, listen, I'm at my car in Marcus McGee. I called the report. I'm in the system. Hurry up and come. I don't know who's driving my car. It could be crack. It could be gun. They could have anything in my car. I just want my motherfucking car back. Yo, I called them for an hour and a half. They did not come. Every time I called the Harvard police, the guy was like, yo, I'm not on duty right now, but yeah, I'm parked in front of the mobile down the street from you. I'm not on duty. I said, yo, you gotta be fucking kidding me. You're not gonna come and take the report so I can get my car? No one came. I swear to God, two hours passed. There's a commotion outside of the window. There are people walking by now. Now my other cousins has come. Like now I'm a little bit more comfortable because my other cousins are there. We are waiting outside two and a half hours. Dude, I get in my fucking car because the, the condition was already popped. I started up, I drive to the police station. I ring them out. I go in there, I say, you know what? You know why the city of Harvard has such a bad relation with the uh, Harvard police? Because you guys just don't give a fuck about anybody living in this community. I have been out there calling you guys for two hours. As I'm telling my story, the lady on the switchboard behind me was like, oh, you, oh, that's you. I had been that guy because oh, I had been cussing their ass off. Yeah, come take me to jail. I'm telling them, yeah, come take me to jail. I'm harassing the police. I told them I am so livid. I am a goddamn school teacher. I'm a goddamn school teacher. And then I can hear like the other officer or someone else walking by getting an attitude. And then I say, yeah, what? You want to run my name? I've never been arrested. I went to college just like yo ass. I have no record. I've never been arrested. Thank God. I got no knock on one. I said, I just feel so hurt. I could have got really fucking killed. Like, I could have got fucked up. Like, I don't think they really understand the severity of the situation. Like, no, serious. And anybody who's from Hartford would know that, yo, that's a crazy area. It could have been a full shootout outside. Like, I could have really died. Like, that's the area where they just don't give a fuck. So I'm down there venting. I said, yeah, you know what I'm going to do next time? I'm going to say it's a white woman down here. I'm going to say it's a white woman down here. She got a Trinity College t-shirt on. I said, oh, I bet you come this time. He said, you know what? That wouldn't be right. He said, that wouldn't be right. I said, yes. I said, right. I said, right. Now, I filed this report with my car uh, two weeks ago. I told you my car had been going for a week and a half. And y'all don't respond. They never, never showed up for two fucking hours. How dare y'all? Like, who, who does that? This is a shitty little city, man.